All right, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for uh, returning people and newcomers. Go ahead and push the red subscribe and join the family. Okay, what I've done is I cooked some beef neck bones in the crock pot overnight. So they cooked for about four hours. They were so tender. All I had to do is lift the bones up and the meat pretty much fell down off of the bones. So that's what I did after they were done. All I did was lift the bones out of them. And this is all the meat. And here's the pile of bones that I just lifted up. Very simple to take the meat off the bone. Okay, we're going to go ahead and get rid of the rest of these bones. Okay. Go ahead and get Now, if you have a dog, he'll be real happy because those are some nice bones he'll be able to have. Okay. Now I've taken all the meat off of the bone. And this is the part where you determine whether you just want it to you. You can use this meat over noodles or you can make what I call beef barbecue. Now, that's what I'm going to do with this meat. OK, and in order to make the beef barbecue, you're either going to make your own sauce or take your own barbecue sauce that you like. And you're going to add a few things to it, of course, to make it your own. Uh, you can put a little green peppers and onions. I suggest that anything like that that you put in your sauce, you're going to chop that up real, real good because you want it to still be encompassed in the sauce that you're adding. Of course, you know, I'm going to use my Old Faithful ketchup and I'm going to use some hot sauce to add a little heat to it. Okay, the sauce I'm using is this honey barbecue wing sauce, but that's not... Oh, the finished product. What I'm doing is I'm going to take this that I've got left in here. I'll put a little water in here. Um, water, which of course bottled water. And we're going to add some water to this maybe at least a half a cup and then we're going to add at least a half a cup of ketchup okay at least a half a cup of ketchup and then I'm going to add I say two tablespoons or a tablespoon of hot sauce just depends on your flavor I don't make it too hot because I know my son, he doesn't eat real hot. So we're just going to shake that up real good. And like I said, whatever other ingredients you want to add, it's up to you. Now I am going to take some of this Montreal seasoning. And I'm going to sprinkle this over my meat before I add any sauce to it. You see that? I'm just going to sprinkle that right over my meat before I add any sauce to it. Then you can go ahead and turn these pieces over if you like. Go ahead and flip them on the back side. Okay, I'm just flipping all that meat over and over. Okay, we got all those pieces turned over. And we're going to do the same on the back side. Okay. And now I'm going to pour this sauce over it. Now, while you're doing this, you want to make sure you're turning your oven to at least like 350. You see that? Get your oven to about 350 and let it be heating up. And then you're going to be taking this sauce that you've made. And you're going to just start wisping it over the top of here. Okay. Yeah, you're just going to put that over the top. Okay. And we're going to put this in the oven. All righty. We're going to let that be in the oven for about at least 20, 30 minutes. Okay. All right. We've had it in there a little under 20 minutes. I'm going to go ahead and take that out. And you can, at this point, just put it on bun 
But what I like to do is actually go ahead and mix it up. So I'm just going to start like, you know, the meat is so tender that you don't have to cut anything. I'm just going to start, you know, mixing it. And then as you go, if you find some more bones or anything, you just remove them and take it out. Not a problem. And you're just mixing this meat around and making your beef barbecue. Okay? And that's how you do it. And when you're finished, if it's not saucy enough for you, then just add a little more. All we're going to do is go ahead and get you a plate. Get you a couple of buns. Open up those buns. I'm going to take you some of that meat. Put it on that bun. Okay. And there you have it. That's your beef on bun. Enjoy. Try it out. See how you like it. Comment below how yours turned out. Maybe you use something a little different to make yours different. Enjoy it. Like and subscribe. Bye-bye.